Hi, in this video we're going to talk more about strings and characters. So let's review some of the differences between strings and characters. First, strings have type string with a capital S. Characters have type care with a lowercase c. Strings are objects while characters are primitives. We compare strings with dot equals and we compare cares with equals equals. We use double quotes for strings and single quotes for characters. Strings have a whole sequence of characters, while cares, they're just single characters. So string name equals Jeremy, care letter equals Y. Look at the difference in the types here. And now take a look in the difference in the values where the string is in between double quotes and the care is in between single quotes. And now we'll introduce a fact about cares which will blow your mind. Cares are just numbers. Mind blown. Let's explain that a little bit more. So here I have an image of the ASCII table. And what this shows is sort of the behind the scenes of what is the number value behind each character. So if we look at a capital A, we can see that 65 is the value. If we look at a lowercase g, we can see that 103 is the value. And so since cares are numbers, this actually leads to many interesting things that you can do. Let's look at an example. Okay, here I have a program that prints out and shows you what happens uh, as a consequence of cares just really being numbers. So first I will run the program and then we'll walk through it. So you can see here that lowercase a has the ASCII value 97. Capital A has the ASCII value 65. C is two characters after A. K is 10 characters after capital A. And we sort of show how that works. So let's look at the code. So first we declare a lowercase a as a care, and then we print it out. And then, look very carefully, we cast it as an int. And so because it's just an int behind the scenes, we can do this cast and show you what that ASCII value is. So we do the same with capital A, we print it out and then show you the int value. And then because characters are really just numbers, we can subtract them. So capital C minus capital A prints out the value two. And what that means really is that C is two after A in that table. So K, is 10 characters after A. And so this is a little more complicated, and so I have a one-line version and then I break it down. But we're basically saying we take the character A, we add 10 to it, which gives us a character 10 characters later, and then we turn it back into a character. And so how does that work? Basically we start with a capital A, we cast that to an int, we add 10, and then we cast it back to a character. So that's, you can play around with this program, but that's a demo of how cares really are numbers behind the scenes. The next important thing to talk about is escape sequences. So escape sequences are characters with special meaning, and they're treated like one character. So there's a handful of escape sequences, but we'll just focus on a few. So um, backslash T is a tab, backslash N is a new line, backslash single quote is a single quote, backslash double quote is a double quote, and backslash slash is a slash. And so let's look at an example to see why we might need this. So here you can see I have a string called many lines, which is first line and then a backslash n and then a second line. And so instead of having to do an additional print line, when you print that out, you'll see that there's two lines. And then you might have been wondering, how do you print out a single quote? Well, you, it's a kind of hard to do because strings go in between, in between quotes. And so to do that, you have to actually escape the quote. And that's what that backslash character is doing there. It's saying, don't end my string there with that double quote. Instead, escape my character and print out that quote. So this is how escape sequences work. And say you want to put something in, you know, air quotes or double quotes. That's how you can use it. Okay. So now that we've talked about strings versus characters, you should also know about the character class. And that's character with a capital C, which is different than care. 
So it's a little confusing, but we'll go over the details. So there are some handy methods we'll use in the character class. They are static methods, which means you call them on the character class, not the instance. So heads up here, I just want you to know that there's a lot of confusing stuff on this slide. We need to introduce it now so that we can use the character class methods, but we will explain what all of those parts mean in the next unit because we don't need everything yet. So let's say we want to find out if something is a digit and we have this string code here, we can get the last character and then we can ask a question like if character dot is digit last care. And so the, the idea here is that these are methods on the character class. So what are the methods that we have? So just like our table from strings, we can see that we can ask, is a character a digit? Is a character a letter? Is it a letter or a digit? Is it lowercase? Is it uppercase? Is it white space? Convert it to lowercase and convert it to uppercase. So these are some of the most handy methods that we'll have in the character class. So now we'll look at an example. Okay, so here I've declared a care called ch set it equal to a lowercase f. And now I'm using this Boolean method from the character class saying character dot is uppercase ch. So if it is uppercase, we'll print out that it's uppercase. Otherwise, we'll print out it's not uppercase. So when we run this, we'll find that it is not uppercase. But if I change it to a capital F, we'll see that it is uppercase. And so the important thing to note here is that the reason we're calling this method on capital character and not lowercase ch is that ch, that's a primitive type. And so we have to call it with capital character the name of the class. So those, that's how you use character methods.